Many times I'll have patients ask me what information they need to bring to the USCIS exam. If you have any doubts, then it's important to go ahead and bring records. It's better to have too much information than not enough. The most important thing to bring is a photo identification. USCIS now requires that the civil surgeon see a photo identification and record this on the USCIS application. The next thing is to bring records of vaccinations if you're able to obtain them. Even if those vaccinations are written in another language, go ahead and bring them to the exam. In many offices, the civil surgeon will be able to translate that information and record it on your chart. The civil surgeon will need to know what dates you had specific vaccinations done so they know if there's other vaccinations you're required to have. The other information that's important is any tuberculosis testing, especially if you've had a positive tuberculosis test in the past. The tuberculosis test information is important because it will provide information as to whether you've had a reaction or had to have a chest x-ray. Any records that document the date of tuberculosis testing and the outcome is very important. And the final part is any syphilis blood test you've had in the past and a date that it might have been done. Any of the testing, such as syphilis testing or tuberculosis testing, is only valid for one year for submitting to Homeland Security. But if you have older information, go ahead and bring it in for the civil surgeon. The older information may be useful as medical history and help the civil surgeon evaluate your general health and well-being. If you have any questions, then please ask the civil surgeon ahead of time what information they would like to have you bring to your visit. The more information you bring, the better. And don't be concerned if this information is in a different language. In many civil surgeons' offices, they have ways of translating information, especially the vaccination information, into English. So go ahead and bring it if you have that available to you. The more information you provide the civil surgeon, the more easily they will be able to complete your USCIS application